Hey, guys, it guys. It's Christopher Mosher from MyMediaHelper.com. And I never understood the, the phrase, he ain't heavy, he's my brother. I never got it. But speaking of brother, um, here's a brother right here. It ain't heavy. It's my brother. And it's it's not heavy, nor is it even my brother. Um, so I walked out of the office or walked out of one of the offices or one of the uh, buildings that I work in because I go to different buildings. And I was handed this tonight stating that um, when it scans, there's a black mark through it. And we're going to figure out um, why. And I've never used this thing before. And we're going to plug it in and see how to use it. So it's a brother A D S. One seven zero zero W um, scanner, and let's see if we can figure out how to use this sucker. Oh, okay. So there's a power cord. Oh, a power cord. <laughs> Come on, grab everything. All right. So we got the power to it. Here's this unusual um, cord. He said they had to special order it. I'm not sure what the hell that is. I'm sure I have some laying around anyways. I'm not sure why it wouldn't come with the unit itself. Maybe they lost it, but I don't know. That was that was um, pre-Chris, uh, so I had no dealings in that. So we will throw in the USB. Get a connection, see what pops up here. All right, and we are going to try to find a driver for this. And all right, so imagine it opens like this. Okay, so it opens like this. There's the power button. All right, look at that. Isn't that cool? This is a really little scanner. <laughs> all right, I'm going to try to scan it real quick. God damn it, I put this pack of paper papers and now I drop my camera. You know, sometimes it just doesn't pay. Sometimes it just doesn't pay to do anything. <laughs> just, just sit down. Just sit in, a, sit in a chair and don't do anything. And then you won't fall or hurt yourself or drop your camera. All right, I think I'm ready. So, what... All right, let's get a closer look on the setup on this thing here. It's, it's pretty simple. So you got your power cord that came with a unit. And it just goes in the back here, like so. And then I'm just going to assume that you know how to plug in power. But if not, uh, here you go. <laughs> OK, and that's plugged in. And then uh, this is the part that they ordered. It's a USB connection. I'm not sure what that end is called, but it goes in the USB. There's another USB connection right here. So I'm not sure what happened if it did come up with a USB cord and someone shot it out accidentally or what the deal was. I am guessing to what you're going to hear about my story to the fact that um, things aren't exactly what they seem as far as this unit is concerned because I was told this was a brand new unit and I contact customer service and they said it was out of warranty like a year ago. <laughs> so someone's not telling me the truth. So I think this was just lost and they just had to reorder it. Um, I'm not sure if you can use a regular USB cable. Unfortunately, I cannot find one in my stuff, so I can't 100% tell you. I'm guessing you can. All right. So there you go. And then once this is how you're going to open it, you open it from the front here. Um, and these extend right here. Let me find. So here's paper. And you just open these doohickeys right here. And they kind of kind of anchor your paper. So you put this here and here. Let me see if I can get you a better shot of that. So these kind of open, just kind of anchor your paper. And then make sure, so you've got two, you've got two, um, trying to, what am I trying to say? This is for like, if you're, it's reading a card or something, you can see by the image. And this is if you're scanning like a letter, um, a regular size paper and stuff. So just make sure that's clicked over to the correct side. It will give you an error message if it isn't. And then um, we're going to do this in a bit, but just to show you if you need to clean the unit, and I'll put these down just for now. There is, um, there's a gray little doohickey there, as you can see. And then let's see if I can do this the best I can. If you pull the doohickey, all right, and then there's there's the two scanners here, and they're both. It looks like there's like just clear plastic over both of them, and one works and one doesn't. Um, this is the issue that I'm having, and as full disclosure, I couldn't get the one to um, 
work. It was showing a black spot across um, one side of the paper. If you did double side, then one side came out great and one side is still um, has a black line through it. So this tutorial is going to show you how to clean it and stuff. Um, and I'll do it right now. You just get like a, okay, it's just a microfiber cloth and you can moisten it a little bit. I mean, don't spit on it. <laughs> just put a little water on it from the, from the tap. I mean, yeah, I guess you can spit on it. Um, but yeah, there's two um, clear plastic um, scannings that you get, scanners that you can see in there. And just one, uh, it really has nothing to do with me cleaning this. I can clean it all day long and twice on Sunday. So here's the roller right here too. So there's a little um, latch here where you can pull this out and then pull the roller out. Okay, and then you can clean the roller. So this is an option if you are getting um, a black mark on your paper. Uh, this didn't fix my situation, but it might fix yours. Uh, I think my situation is just, I don't know, the one part of the scanner is just bad. Uh, and then I just put it back in, just kind of kind of line things up. And back like that and just clean it if you need to. You might not even need to do this. Maybe you just need it set up. Okay, so that's if you need to set it up. So um, next thing is we'll get this going. We'll go find uh, we'll go find the software. So let's look for a driver for this, uh, this sucker once it's all set up. So again, we're gonna put brother uh, ADS1700 W and driver. There we go right there, look at that. Look at that, drivers. All right, let's see what we got here, drivers. We got, I got Windows 11, drivers. So choose your Windows. Choose your Windows carefully. Let's see here. Full software package. I want the whole package. I just don't want half a package. I want the whole package. Uh, let's see. Agree to. Sure, whatever. Uh, just want to see this shit real quick. A full driver software. Agree. Okay, let's do it to it. All right, and there she is. Drivers. So let's see what happened over here. Here. Opening. Opening. Value. Value to. Oh my lord. So much going on here. All right. So what do we got here? We got English. We got next license agreement. Sure. Why not? Uh, we got wireless connection. So there is a USB connection and um, you can do wireless too, I suppose. Should we do wireless? USB is probably easier, but let's go the hard way. Uh, I gotta remember my um, internet password, my wireless password. Okay, so it's doing whatever it is that it's supposed to be doing, I suppose. And what we got here? Select machine. Oh my God, there's all this twirling is giving me a headache. Can we stop twirling already? No machine set up with USB, set up without USB. Let's set up with USB. Um, it's already connected. Configure the wireless settings of your machine. Temporarily connect your computer to the machine using, okay, fair enough. Uh, the following machine has been detected, brother. So that's the one that's in my lap, all nice warm in my crotch. This brother scanner's in my crotch, all warm, all nice and toasty. Yes, I want to connect the machine to this wireless network. Why the hell not? All right, submitting settings. Please wait. Always waiting. It's half your job in IT is fucking waiting. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Disconnect USB between your computer and the machine. Maybe that's why it didn't come with a USB connection, but that doesn't make sense either because if it needs the USB to initialize the, the network, I don't know. I didn't open the fucking thing. I just grabbed it. Uh, disconnect USB. Okay, next. You will have completed the wireless network setup. How did, how did I do that if I haven't put in the, the password? All right. All right, we got more spinning. My life is just a big, big thing of spinning. Okay, here we go, model. All right, we'll go next. It's got to 
Oh, well, that makes sense. It's not getting into the Mosier. <laughs> it doesn't need, it's not, it's not this getting into my computer. It's my computer getting into this. There doesn't need to be uh, a password. Uh, let's see. Standard connection is fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do, do, do. More spinning. Download, I print, and scan. See, now this dude showed me what the other dude, um, the other IT guy installed on his computer. And it wasn't this. It was a um, it was a Windows component. So I'm not sure what he did, to tell you the truth. But that's okay. It's not a big deal. I wasn't there. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? All right. So just wait through all this bullshit. And... What we got here, if you want to install the following additional software, Paperport. Paperport is a document management software package that helps you organize excess. I mean, it's on my computer. It doesn't really matter. It's not on his. Power PDF is a software to read. I'm not going to have this thing. So I think it's kind of moot. It's a moot point to have either. Uh, okay. That's probably important. Software installation complete. All right, finish. Okay, redirecting. I agree. Okay, let's update anything that needs to be updated. Okay, hey, next. Set up status. Installing wizard is installing. Software update notification updater. Okie dokie, there's that. We'll just wait for this to finish. I don't see anything changing on the unit at all, which is fine. Doesn't mean nothing. Do, 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 Eh. All right, just for shits and giggles, let's see if this works. Use this function, you must select brother machine. Select machine, okay. It's the only thing I've got. Oh, let's see what's going on in the background here. Okay, that's successfully installed. Checking for other server. See software in your machine latest. Okay. So for the device you want to update and then click update. Doesn't look like I have a choice to update it. So I'm assuming everything's cool there. Uh, let's try network. Okay. Setting machine. I'm sure you're literate and you could read that. Okay, the following functions are available. It's got an IP. Let's scan. Set it to that. Let's scan. Okay, scanning. <laughs> it surprised the shit out of me. All right, that's scanning. Yeah, there's that black mark he's talking about. All right, so installing is pretty easy. It's just kind of plug and play, download the software, and just go through the instructions as it as it comes up. Beyond that, as far as if you're getting that black line, um, try to clean the units. You can try other software. There's third-party software like this one um, that you can try. And if that doesn't help, you can uh, update the firmware. So if you go to ADS 1700W, uh, right here, firmware updates. So you can try to, to update the firmware. And beyond that, as far as that black streak is concerned, um, you'll have to consult. What I did is just, I reached out to Brother customer support and they saw that the, under the serial number that it was no longer under warranty. So they offered to have it mailed in. Of course, they're gonna charge you because it's not under warranty to correct it or you just get a new unit. So um, that's it, guys and gals. Not they are not always success stories. Um, that's all I can do beyond to where I'm sitting. But hopefully this helps you um, diagnose if you do have that black streak, or at least helps you get the unit set up if if you just bought it. Uh, I mean, don't even don't even have that issue and know where to get the software and everything like that. All right, gals and guys. I don't know what's going on with Loom. <laughs> they they just updated it, and now it's not. My little, my cute little face is not popping up on the other screens. I hate, I hate when they do that because they always seem to screw things up and they always make it uh, more complicated than it needs to be. It was working fine, Loom. Your program was working fine until now. But anyways, that's a side bitch.
All right, guys and gals, thank you for uh, checking it out. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And um, please like if you like this video. And please share and, you know, hit the bell and all that normal stuff that I always tell you. All right, guys and gals, we'll catch you later. Bye-bye.